I know that this topic has been covered relentlessly over the internet. However, I felt that there was missing an updated version of the events because there's a lot to unpack on this video. The infamous Glitter Forever 17. This channel called Glitter Forever 17. There are only a handful of YouTubers who go through journeys as twisted, strange, and controversial as Glitter Forever 17. We are taking a look at a girl who faked a mental breakdown to save her career. In October 2020, Breland posted a video letting her followers know that she has started an OnlyFans. It often involves things like firecrackers, makeup, and inflatable turkeys. We will watch together the evolution, the destruction, and the new beginnings of someone called Breland, better known as Glitter Forever. 17. But before moving on, let me introduce myself. Salute no Oh, hi. I'm the Vance Loader, and I'm your favorite rock star. <laughs> and this is the only channel here on YouTube that is produced by someone who was abducted by a vampire marmot. And remember that I can edit your social media thingies with my Fiverr page, so link below. As I mentioned previously, there are many creators that had fell from grace, but there is one in specific that fell so hard and left behind a lot of valuable lessons. So this history contains a lot of things. It contains infidelities, it contains only fans, it contains bankruptcy, it contains DIYs, it contains the recipes to make everything edible. So thanks to this channel, my grandma was edible. <laughs> You're a pig. <laughs> Yes, 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 we are talking about Glitter Forever, I already stated it. So this journey began 11 years ago, with a video that was rather a statement, introducing herself to the world. I think it vibrates. At the beginning her channel didn't have much success, as every channel on YouTube seems to be the norm that your first videos will suck. I know, I know. But one video literally changed her life. One video that was eight simple and fun. School hairstyles. With that video, she was able to change her life forever. Because the views just started coming in, coming in. The popularity grew with each video. This was literally the YouTube magic that everybody says. Like, oh, with just one video my life changed. It was literally the case. At the beginning, Brilliant's channel or Glitter Forever 17 channels was sort of not all over the place, but didn't have a niche in particular. There were a lot of makeup videos, recreation of music videos. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. You hear me? Makeup, some hacks. And we will come later into the hack section because it gets strange. So overall, we could say that almost every video started to be a success. There was a shift in the content because it was starting to be more targeted towards a younger demographic. And here is where the weird things start to take place. Because she started doing edible everything, like edible phone cases, edible boyfriends, edible bookshelves, edible cars, no I'm just kidding, but everything was edible for Breland. EOS were edible. So thanks to this, Breland's channel literally cemented itself as a legend. Oh my god, what is that? But something started to dwindle. Now, before stating the downfall, let's take a closer look into the content before moving on. Premix said that Brilliant's content was sort of questionable once the shift happened. 
the shift being her divorce. She divorced after I don't know how many years of marriage, but she broke ties with her then husband. And Primix said that the videos took a weird turn with a lot of questionable videos, but I'm going to be quite frank. Brillant's videos were always sort of questionable. She had a lot of um, how to pull your data up videos, uh, period hacks, how to shape your kuka, how to make your kuka smell good. So overall, the videos were always weird. It wasn't just like an occasion. The videos were always weird, to be quite frank. So soon after the engagement was broken, Brilland showed us the opus maximum of her success here on YouTube. It was a lakeside mansion. I'm going to be showing you my entire home. And not only is it not my home anymore, it's possibly going to be foreclosed. Dining room table. One oven, two oven, three ovens. And if you want to count the microwave as an oven, four ovens. Lovely bedroom. dogs barking. Lived there and I had built up my bank account like insanely high. At that point you get to this mindset of like invincibility. You really feel like oh my gosh I'm at the top of the world right now. There's no way I'm gonna fall. Um, she described the lavish lifestyle that she used to have. It was cars, dinners, traveling abroad, traveling in the US, ex expensive gifts, changing phones every once in a while. And let me tell you something. I know for a fact that a chandelier costs as much as a car. And she even had like four ovens and a very strange showering system. So it was a very lavish lifestyle that very few people have access to. And it seems that it started to take a toll on Breland because during this era, she started streaming on Junow. And you might say to yourself, well, streaming to Junow, what about it? Well, it was that the streams were questionable in itself. Stupid ass bitch. Sharpsy, you're just jealous because you're probably really ugly. <laughs> that sucks to be that. This is sexy. You don't like it? You can go. Oh, that is dick. I don't care. Help me break the kid naughty. Cause bitch on ah! Ah! So these streams were of Rilan pretending to be either intoxicated or being intoxicated or acting weird or cussing out the viewers. Wait for all you concerned about me. Sit on this and, you know, twist. Go get laid or something. Take this as your disgrace and shove it up your f***ing ass. How about that? Like, sit on this and spin, you stupid little bitch. Which was sort of funny, but you shouldn't do it because that's rude and we are not rude people. So, yeah. It was bad because this arrived a very big mystery online. Everybody was like, oh my god, what happened to Breland? I have to mention that during this time, she was dating a Russian guy. Well, she was actually married to a Russian guy named Slava. He will come in hand later. But for now, let's just focus on the Juno section. And everything seemed to be quite not normal. So, silence came in. But then Breland let us know what was really happening. So Brillant was struggling severely and immensely with money, and this was due to two reasons. The main one being Apocalypse. So thanks to the Apocalypse, Brillant's channel went from making thousands of dollars to just making money. She wore it like that. It was that and the fall of the DIY genre as a whole. People just lost interest. The viewers that once were kids now had other interests like uh, Justin Bieber, I guess. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure, but that could be a reason why. So Justin, I'm watching you. No, I'm just kidding. So after it is, the money was kind of low and Brillant was broke. So she went from having everything to being broke and desperate because the mortgage payments came in and she didn't have money to pay it. 
So that's why she decided to do the Junao drama and she was able to make $10,000 of that month from Junao. She was able to pay her bills for a while, however the inevitability came in and she just lost it all. And that's what happens when you lose all your money. I want to die on the inside. So after this, Brillan decided to move with her ten partner. They got a dog, which was named after Jeffree Star apparently. And Tim, things seemed to be not very nice for her, but at least she was honest about everything that happened. And she even made a new channel, which are you ready for the name of this new channel? No, you are not. Okay, you are. The name of her new channel is Brilliant. So in this new channel, she gave us an insight on what was going on on her mind, on what was like the devastation of going broke, and um, some other random content, like for example, reacting to her own documentary about her own downfall. And overall, it seems that this was an enlightenment for Brilliant because she no longer had to be that persona that she despised. She had the opportunity to be who she really was. And it was sort of a positive change, but not everything that glitters is gold. Because soon after, she realized that she still needed money, because now she was providing for Slava, and Slava started working retail. Obviously, the money wasn't sufficient, so this led to Brilliant taking some. maybe missteps, but I wouldn't call them missteps, we would just call them lessons. But in any case, she decided to do an OnlyFans. Now, on her OnlyFans, things were wild. I mean, I wasn't subscribed to her OnlyFans, but let me tell you that I saw some clips on her Twitter and I was baffled to my core. <clears throat> I will give you a description of like the things that I saw. So the viral video that was all over the internet was of Brilliant with a turkey. Mm, you can just imagine what she was doing with that turkey. It was a rubber turkey, not a real turkey. Also, she was uh, inserting a firecracker, a lit firecracker on her kuka, which I mean you shouldn't do, but okay. And she was also um, using a snowman for things that you shouldn't use a snowman for. I hope that the images are clear, I'm not going to put any images on this video about that time of her life, because I don't want this channel to be deleted forever. Okay, so back to the video. So thanks to this, Brillan was able to move from Louisiana to California, so that journey began. And Brillan was able to document that on her other channel, and once arriving on California, she was still with Slava, I think the relation lasted from around 2017 through 2022. Yeah, that's the correct time frame actually. And they were living together, but it seems that there were some issues. Because the relation was open and they didn't really seem that intimate anymore. They were more like a friendship, which is perfectly okay. But it seems that things weren't as perfect as we believed them to be. And I will tell you why in a moment. So in California, Breland unfortunately lost everything. Slava was working as an as a Uber, and one day they had a crash. Well, he crashed the car because someone was intoxicated and crashed him. I'm about to. Yeah. So now they lost their car and things were bad. I remember that Brilliant did a lot of live streams asking for people to donate to her. And this was very prevalent during all of this time. Why? Because Brilliant decided that OnlyFans just wasn't for her anymore. And it seems that the motivation is one of the main themes of this documentary. Because her OnlyFans tanked, her YouTube tanked, her new YouTube tanked. So everything that she was trying to make a living off started to tank because the motivation is a very harsh thing to get through. 
because you try to put all of your effort into something that you know is working and then it stops working and then you're like oh why this isn't working so it's like a very oppressing and depressing cycle that it's very rarely, it's very rarely hard for people to get through. So Brillan decided that OnlyFans wasn't for her and I will clarify something, the adult industry is not for everybody, it may seem like an easy job but if you know that you have potential to do something else or if you know that that's just something that you don't feel comfortable with, you will pursue something else because that's just life, people like to be filmed doing things and some other people just want to do other stuff and that's perfectly fine and perfectly valuable. So, Brillan deleted her OnlyFans, or at least deleted all evidence of the existence of her OnlyFans, and she decided to take a leap of faith into making true crime videos, because all of the other videos that she was making weren't really cutting the attention of anyone anymore, more than her diehard fans. So after all of this period, all of this incident, losing everything again, she decided to move back to Louisiana and here she took a very harsh decision which was ending her relation with Slava. Some of you might know, some of you might not know, but me and Brillan decided to separate after five years due to uh, a lot of, I guess, reasons. But I feel like the biggest reason right now, and it's always been like something to be argued over like the whole time, which was like the place to live. So Breland ended the relation with Slava, but then she decided to move back to Louisiana. So after moving back to Louisiana, a lot of things happened, Jeffrey had a flea infestation, so this resulted in her channel, the Breland channel, not being able to be uploaded consistently. So this resulted on her views dwindling again, so she needed to start over again. And overall it seems that Breland has not the best luck in the world, but we can surely say that she is someone who's willing to put in the effort and someone who even knowing has every odd against her, she will still fight for the things that she believes in and that in itself is admirable. So what is Brillant doing right now? Brillan is still uploading true crime videos and she's not having the success that she once had but I mean she already had two successful true crime videos so we really hope and expect for Brillan to have success with this new face on her career and just remember that on this channel we actually do wish people to do better and for them to uh, be happier. We are not the, the, those type of channels who are like, oh, I wish you are miserable until you are dead. No, no, no. We try to be positive here. Yeah, we try. So let's go. But <coughs> so let's go to the conclusion. Brillan is someone who, through pure determination and through pure courage, was able to build a brand for herself. She was able to make things that almost anyone is able to make. She was able to further her career to new heights and even knowing that she has made a lot of missteps or committed a lot of mistakes, she's someone who is willing to acknowledge the things that she did wrong and work on those things. Being online is very complicated because people will relentlessly judge you for everything, that if you move your finger this way, that if you dress this way, that if you said this thing, people on the internet are very unforgiving and you will be reminded that every day of your life of the mistakes of the mistakes that you did because most times people only want to mm, do sort of like a witch hunt and I mean there's a lot of things to do on the internet but I don't recall that witch hunting was trendy again see you in hell Seymour but okay so yeah Brilliant is someone who is admirable because she had the courage to take harsh decisions even knowing that she had all of the odds against her. She's right now in Louisiana, we're not entirely sure what will be her next steps, but we can definitely wish her the best. And I mean this history really hit home for me because I have a very similar history, maybe one day I will share it with you all, maybe not, who knows. But for now that's everything that I have to put into this Glitter Forever documentary. 
So yeah, that's it. No, actually that's not it. So before concluding this video, remember that I can edit your videos or your pictures with my Fiverr page. Oh my god, what is that? And you should hire me because I'm broke and I'm amazing. So please hire me. Please. Thank you. And, as always, I will end this video in a high note. 